What? No wisecracks? No hide the silverware? Call the police? Lynn, I'm so sorry about Mrs. Staley's sister. I know you must be feeling devastated. Lynn, talk to me. You know I won't leave until you do. I just feel like I could have saved her. Like it's all my fault. Now you know better than that. Where was my discernment? My prophetic gift? Maddie, I should have known by the Spirit what she was going to do. Did it ever occur to you that she was not in her right mind? There was nothing you could have done to stop her. Yes, it did. I have to believe God would have given me the grace I needed to minister hope and, and life to her. Lynn, it was depression. That's an illness. So what she needed was healing. Then why wasn't I there to pray for her healing? No. I'll tell you where I was. I was working on a sermon. And a stinking toilet, Manny, a toilet. And that woman died. Lynn, you have responsibilities, lots of them, some of which just can't always wait. Yeah, right. Well, I didn't have any problem leaving my responsibility at that board meeting to go pray for Deacon Hall's dog. I don't know. Maybe I just don't have what it takes to pastor anymore. And those people, they're so precious. I think maybe they deserve more than I've got to give. Lynn, I know you. I, I know this hurts you terribly. But this church needs a pastor and it appears evident that God has chosen you. Dry your tears, wipe your nose, and get about your father's business. You know I will. I just have some time. I just need some time. Where's Pastor McKnight? He's helping with the funeral arrangements. Which means that we can focus on Pastor Lynn. This suicide thing has really thrown her for a loop. Well, Pastor shouldn't be thrown for a loop. Here are your keys, Dad. Thank you. And may I remind you that she was right by your side when you were thrown for a loop, when you thought Huckleberry was going to die. She was. And I can't think of many pastors that would drop everything just to come pray for somebody's dog. That's the truth. Has anybody heard from her since Mrs. Staley's death? Well, Gina said that she came in once and sat quietly in the sanctuary. And she stayed for a while and left. And I tried to call her and no one answered. Same here. No answer. She thinks that woman's death was her fault. And Maddie said that she's even doubting her call in the ministry. Maybe she's got more sense than I gave her credit. Stop it, this is serious. Well, so is church business too. Now who's gonna take care of the business while she's moping around? Deacon Raglan and I will. We love her. And if she needs time to heal, we're gonna see to it that she gets that time. Won't we, Deacon Raglan? Yes, we will. And let me make this abundantly clear that I'd rather have a pastor whose biggest fault is that she has a sensitive heart than one who has a heart that is full of pride and arrogance. That's right, Lamar. We need to focus on how to make her feel better. She needs to know that we love her and that we need her. Why don't I get with Gina and she can call Maddie for some suggestions? Good idea. Okay. Hey, Gina, 
Everybody's trying to figure out what can be done to help Pastor Lynn feel better. You think Maddie would have an idea or two? Hmm. You know what? Let's give her a call because she knows the pastor better than anybody. That's what I was thinking. Come on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And no, the pastor's not available right now. But Deacon Hall will be glad to come over. And we will certainly keep you in our prayers. Bye now. M what's going on? Macy Graham, he fell and broke his hip, and they need you to get over to the hospital right away. That's the pastor's job. No, it's the priest's job. And according to 1 Peter and Revelations, we're the priests. Besides that, anybody that wants to be head deacon should jump at the opportunity to minister. And things are really changing around here. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll go with you so that we can minister together. As it should be, and the two flesh shall become one. And I'll go to the Staley's to see if there can be some sort of reconciliation. Because if the sister stays angry with the pastor, it's going to eat her alive, both physically and spiritually. That's a wonderful idea. Did you all get in touch with Maddie? We did, and she had a great idea. You know how the pastor has three rescue dogs, right? Yes, we do. Well, here's the thing. She always had a standard poodle. Maddie says she loves that breed because they're smart and they're sensitive to their owner's feelings. Mm -hmm. So, well, the thing is her last one stayed right by her side mm -hmm. when she lost her husband. So what's the point? The point is that she doesn't have one now. How come? The last one actually died about six months ago and has really, really broken her heart. Well, what are you suggesting? That we get, get her, her one. one. Do you all have any idea how much those dogs cost? No more than that ugly dog you take naps with every afternoon. Dad, so is it possible that she came running to our house to pray for Huckleberry because she knows what a dog can do for somebody? Well, I guess she did care a little. Well, here's what I suggest. You two do the research, see if there's any available, how much they cost. And we can begin by taking up a love offering right now. Love offering, come on. And then. Oh boy. Oh, take what you need. Good afternoon. I'm Deacon Ragnar. Are you Mrs. Staley's sister? I'm Ursa, yes. You're just the person I'm looking for. May I come in and talk with you for a spell? Are you part of Reverend Jenkins Church? Well, yes, I actually am, but it's the Lord's Church. And you're familiar with Pastor McKnight, aren't you? Yeah, I know him, yeah. He's also our pastor. Well, I, I guess so. Come, come on in. All right, thank you very kindly. 